So for you, uh, you know, you grew up in the, the vineyard movement for the most part. You've been in church for a long time. Mm -hmm. What do you feel like is the, the lasting impact of John? You know of your dad you know what's the what's the one thing you know, all those Wimberisms everybody has to play you know um, come as you are what what's the one thing that for you it's the legacy that you say this was a gift to the the church the Church of Christ the, the global oh, church yeah I 100% I would say my dad was so inclusive he was so inclusive he loved people I mean there because I worked for him and because I was around him a lot mm -hmm. um, watching him take anybody it didn't matter who it was and didn't matter what church they were from or where they were from if they came and they wanted to talk to him come meet with them and wanted to be a you know follow him around or be a part of what we were doing or whatever um and remember i was mostly always doing everything from the daughters i was the daughter i wasn't like you know the secretary or i wasn't even any, i wasn't even i was never ingrained in the church like that like a lot of people might have thought I was mm -hmm. I was there because my dad said you need to be there you know what I mean and so I went to work and I I was a I was a faithful follower of my dad my parents you know what I'm saying yeah and so um for me my perspective was watching the way he was with people and he loved people he loved um he man he loved people he would he, he should he just he would everyone everyone that showed up he would bring people in he'd fly them in he'd Tell them come in, he'd feed them well. He mm -hmm. would pile their cars up with tapes and books and mm -hmm. give them anything they needed. And mm -hmm. he was the same way, and I would say as generous as he was and as inclusive as he was that way, he was the same way with his family and the mm -hmm. people that he loved that, that he grew up, you know, that he had around him all the mm -hmm. time. He just loved people and he just loved to give to people. Yeah. So generous, wow. extremely generous. Mm -hmm. And, you know, and as his daughter, um, I mean, some of my favorite things were just, you know, being young and having kids and having no money and going over there and him, you know, he always pulled, he always pulled money out of his pocket. Mm -hmm. There, I don't think there was a time that we'd go over there that he didn't like pull out money. Mm -hmm. Give me 20, give me 40, give me, you know, and he was always throwing money in, you know, as I was walking out the door because mm -hmm. he knew that that would be a fun thing for, you know, he'd go, go get some ice cream, take the kids, go get ice cream, go do this, go yeah. do that. And I just think he had such a generous heart and he was such a, like I said, so inclusive and so, he wanted everybody to every. He wanted everybody to have what he had. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Whether it be ice cream or it be, you know, all the teachings and all the information and all the materials that he had to give. Okay. All right. Well, let's let's wrap up with this. Okay. I need something that no one else knows and no one else has heard. <laughs> okay. This needs to be exclusive. <laughs> Give me something exclusive about, about well, Wait, John. have I already mentioned it the, tonight? Did no, you need to give me a hint? I, no, I, no, I don't. I didn't I'm, tell you. I didn't say anything already. Uh, well, you told me that he once prophesied that Luke Garrity would someday <laughs> be a Wimber and be a part of the family, but oh, that was he, it. it wasn't on tape, so <laughs> no one believes so nobody me. Believes yeah. It. <laughs> So by, by you saying, I already, already, already like shredded that. You saying it into the camera would help establish it as fact, though. Uh, My dad would have loved you, I'm yeah, sure. I, I don't know. I'm, I'm increasingly more convinced that I'm, that I'd be out. I'd be down at a Baptist church right now. Yeah. Can you love you? Yeah. Um, but yeah, like, what, what's is there anything that you can you can think of like about John? Because like I learned yesterday, he was a golfer, and I, I know a lot of people knew I that. Know that. But, uh, Bob told me. Really? Bob, Bob, yeah. uh, He's a very good me. golfer. That's what I heard. I heard yeah. he was a scratch golfer. So am I. I'm a really good golfer. Are you? Really? Yeah. I play ice hockey, dad. so I can't play <laughs> golf. Um, but yeah, what's something else? Like, what's what's when you think about about John Wimber, not <laughs> church man, not dad, but just something that made it. What was his hobby? What was uh, you about? know, when I, when I think of, when I and I don't want to imply that he was lazy. Obviously, we all know he's a driven yeah. man. Not Any lazy. guy that does what he, was, he did was not lazy. He was a hardcore napper. Hardcore. Like, really took his naps seriously <laughs> to the point of... <laughs> he had a PhD in she is napping. Yeah. He wrote his dissertation. Like, serious on. napper. <laughs> yeah, to the point of, and he, you know, he really, and, and he passed it on to me, passed uh -huh. it on to my whole family. So, like, we've all been that way, really, most of us. And so, um, as my children get married, their wives are like, are you serious? You quit <laughs> napping. I got it from my grandfather. Um, <laughs> but, uh, awesome. no, the whole house would shut down after church on Sunday. Mm -hmm. Like, we would go to church, go to lunch. And then it was like shut down. Everyone, like if you're there, you're napping. Everyone's taking a nap. Mm -hmm. And then it got to be like if someone dropped by the house and, you know, accidentally, like they didn't realize what they were mm -hmm. walking into, 
you know, and they'd be like crying, you know, sobbing, telling them, telling my dad some horrific story about their <laughs> wife. I just lost them. everything. <laughs> I just lost everything. Yeah. yeah. And my dad, he, he wouldn't even try to not fall asleep. He would just fall asleep. <laughs> while they're talking. Yeah, while they're talking. So what did they think? That there was some kind of anointing in that, in probably, that nap? That yeah, probably. Get... That, no, we just kind of let him believe that. We didn't, yeah. like, we didn't say, oh, sorry, he fell asleep. You just let it. Like, they'd be like, oh, he was praying. He was yeah. a deep, deep he's, intercession he's for me. He's so afraid. <laughs> leave him alone. <laughs> yeah, we'd leave him alone. Yeah, and we'd be like, that's a nightmare. Oh, that's we'll awesome. walk you to the door. So, so that's no happy. secret. That's no secret. Anybody who knew my dad knows that about my dad. Yeah. Well, then what else you got then? Oh, gosh. He loved ice cream. You everyone knows that too. Oh. He loved ice cream. What kind of ice cream? What was his favorite flavor? Oh, it wasn't a flavor. It was the in general. It was the it was the, it was the vanilla and the chocolate ice cream okay. with the whipped cream with okay. the peanuts okay. with the whole thing. Like, and it had to be big. And every time we come, the kids would come over. It was always this way. Yeah. When we were young, we'd take us to the drive-through Driftwood Dairy, and he'd get us ice cream and he'd get us fudgesicles. Okay. And the fudgesicles were more my mom's thing. And, and, but my dad loved ice cream. And okay, so, well, we need to make this clear for, uh... Okay, so for those of you that want to have the John Wimber anointing, <laughs> like, I, I know that there's many of you out there right now that want to see power happen when you pray. Rocky chocolate, Road. Rocky, Road? Rocky Road? Chocolate, vanilla, Rocky Road, whipped cream, nuts, yeah. boom, we're, you're in. You're in. It's so, true. It's true. Oh, and the chocolate syrup, the hot fudge, yeah. the caramel. Instantaneously anointed. He was a big fan of Cheese Whiz when the Cheese Whiz was in. <laughs> <laughs> that was the secret. <laughs> that was the secret. So, no, not, on ice cream, not on ice cream, no. <laughs> oh, yeah, not on ice cream, but in general on crackers and things. <laughs> yeah, it was, when the, it was when it was actually legal to yeah. make cheese whiz. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So uh, essentially, um, that kind of goes to revealing, actually on a serious level, it's like, you know, when people say, what do you do to prepare? And John Wimber would say, I open a Coke. It's, I mean, he just was so yeah. connected to Jesus and, um, and just a normal guy <laughs> that he just yeah. would go about life. Yeah. Doing stuff. I remember, I mean, completely like a, like talk about the rabbit hole or the squir squirrel, you know, chasing down the rabbit hole. Um, I remember him saying to Lonnie Frisbee, Lonnie, we're going to be on, we're going to be up there, you know, like in an hour, go watch some cartoons and get ready. Cause that's what he would do. He would watch cartoons. <laughs> it's like everyone's got their thing. Yeah. My dad was a napper. He had some yeah. ice cream. Well, your, your husband told me that story about how he discovered Lonnie was getting the anointing by watching, watching cartoons. cartoons. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. That's cool. Yeah. Now, I mean, I, I mean, overall, just, just to clarify, um, he didn't put cheese whiz on his ice cream, and then he also, <laughs> the he also didn't thing. have that before he went out on the stage. Yeah. But he. He and he loved, oh, that's the other thing. And he loved to have people with him, like to go mm. to lunches or dinners afterwards. Like it was like everyone yeah. was included always. Yeah. But he, um, uh, he was just a really good dad, mm. a really kind, kind, kind man. To yeah. at least, I mean, it was to all of us. But I mean, mm. for me, my memory of him is not a, like, honestly, it's not this pretend kind of like something I've made up in my mind. He, I'm sure he was a tyrant you know when it came to business stuff and work and dealing with other people i mean i've heard the stories i already know mm -hmm. that he was probably really rough at times to work with he has a really strong personality and very dominating personality but my perspective and since i'm the daughter that grew up with him and i get to say it it was a good perspective he was a really sweet sweet dad and a really kind dad you know so